If you're looking to learn how to use the screen recorder here in iOS 11 or iOS 12 to record your iPhone or iPad screen, then this is the video for you. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today. Now, if you've ever wanted to record a video of what is happening on the screen of your iPhone or your iPad, including the audio, then this video is gonna show you how to do that and also some tips and tricks to get the most out of the screen recorder. So let's jump in right now. To use the screen recorder, you do need iOS 11 or 12 installed on your iPad or your iPhone. And there's a complete list in the description of which iPads and iPhones support iOS 11 and 12. To check if you have that installed, come into your settings, go to general, tap on the software update option, and it will check and tell you. And if this is iOS 11 or 12, you're good to go. Before we can get started with the screen recorder, we need to add it to our control center. To do that, we go to our settings option here by tapping on that one. And then in our settings, we scroll down to control center over here on the left, and then tap on customize controls. From here, we can scroll down and find the screen recording option, tap the green plus button, and that will add screen recording to our control center that we can access from our quick menu. To access our control center on the iPad, we swipe from the top right corner and swipe towards the middle of the screen. On the iPhone, this is slightly different. To access our control center, we swipe up from the bottom of the screen and then we can access our control center options. To start a screen recording now, we swipe from the top right of the screen and then we tap on the record button. We get a three, two, one countdown and then we have a red record light that starts flashing which tells us we're recording. If we tap away from that, you'll notice a red record light comes up on the top right which tells us we're recording. If we then go into any of our apps, let's go into GarageBand, we can hit play. and just play back a little bit of audio there. Now to stop our recording, we can tap on the record button and then we can tap stop. And then it is going to stop our recording at the top here. It'll say it's saved to our photos. We can scroll down on that and we can either view or delete directly from here. Let's tap on view and it will open our photos app and show us this recording. If we hit play on this recording now, it's gonna play back our screen recorder. So you're not hearing any audio at the moment, you're just seeing the screen recording. And now you'll see me jump into GarageBand in just a moment and then play back this track and you'll hear the audio. So let's stop that now. That is all done now, and this is saved to our camera roll. So any of the recordings that we do with our screen recorder are gonna be saved directly to your Photos app on your camera roll. So that's the quick and easy way to get a screen recording, including the audio of your apps here in iOS 11 or iOS 12. So that's great if you want to just record your apps and the sound from your apps, but what if you wanna add your own voiceover to your screen recording? Well, we can do that as well. If we slide from the top right again and go to our control center, if this time, if we tap and hold on the record button, we get these options here. So instead of just hitting start recording, we can actually tap this to turn our microphone on. So this means that the microphone of this iPad is now gonna pick up what we say, as well as the audio being recorded from the app. So let's tap on start recording and we get our three, two, one countdown. We can then tap away from that. Now let's open GarageBand again and I'll say, this is my song called Summer. I'd like to demonstrate some of the things that I did and hit play. Hit stop. Now we can hit the stop button. We can also go back to our control center by swiping from the top right and tap on this record button again, and that will stop the recording. Once again, we can swipe down on here and we can go in and view this in our Photos app. So let's play this now. And what you'll hear different is that it's going to have recorded not only the video and the audio from the app, but you can hear my voiceover as well as the audio recording. So you can quickly see how powerful this is. If you are trying to explain a new app or send someone a video or do a tutorial video, then it makes it really simple to do because you can record not only the audio from your app, but the audio from your voiceover into the iPad directly. Really, really handy. So once you have done a screen recording, you probably wanna do something with it. So the easiest thing to do is to actually share it directly from your Photos app here. So if we come in here, we've got our screen recording. This is the most recent one we did. We can hit the share button, which is in the top right here. We'll tap on that one. 
and now it will bring up our standard sharing option. So we can share this, it's just an 18 second clip. I can send it via AirPlay to my iPhone here. I can send it via message, via mail, via Facebook, Gmail. All the options that you can send here, you can actually send this file and then the other person will receive a copy of that video file. They can play it back and then you can share your screen recordings, your tutorials, whatever it is with another person. A quick word of warning, however, about the audio and that is that the audio is recorded on on two different channels. So there's mono audio from your iPad or your iPhone, so you don't get stereo audio. And then there's also mono audio from the microphone. So there's two channels of audio. The problem is that if you share it via email, share it to iMovie, go to edit the video, it is only going to bring in the audio track from your apps. It's not gonna bring in your voiceover. But don't worry, we've got a workaround, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, that we can actually record both tracks onto one track here in iMovie. OS. So the workaround to do this is a little bit strange, but bear with me. What we're actually going to do is we're going to screen record this screen recording. So to do that, we simply come in here to our control center. While in the photos app, we're going to tap and hold on our record button. Now make sure that microphone is off because we don't want to record additional microphone audio. We're going to tap on start recording. We're going to get our three, two, one countdown, and then it's going to go to our red record light. We'll tap out of here, tap again, and now we can hit play. And this is going to play back. And that's enough to demonstrate this. We'll hit pause there. We'll now come here to the top right, swipe down and turn our recording off. So now we'll go into our photos here. We'll view this one and it has now got our screen recording, but it's got this audio now all on one track. It's recorded those two tracks back to one mono track, which means that we can now share this. We can use this in our video editing. We can do whatever we want and we'll have both of those tracks combined together on the one. You won't have that audio issue that you have with the original recording. You may have noticed that every time we record a screen recording video at the start and the end, we're going to have ourselves turning on and off the screen recorder. So if you want to remove that, it's pretty simple to do. Here in our Photos app, we just choose which video we want to edit. And in the top right corner, there is an edit button. So we tap on that edit button. And now you can see we've got a timeline at the bottom here. So we can tap and hold on either of these ends and we can actually drag those to the position where we want the video to start. So if I want it just there, where I start going into GarageBand, that will be my in point and then I can do the same at the end. I tap and hold on this handle, drag it back so I can remove that end part. Now if I tap on done, I can save this as a new clip. So this is going to save this as a new video, which it does right here in photos. And now there's my old one. Here is my new video that's trimmed so that it only includes the parts that I want to include in my final video. And you can even use a video editing app like Apple's free iMovie to bring in your screen recordings into a video project and then edit them together with other videos to create a whole video using your screen recordings and any other videos that you have on your iPad or iPhone. Now, all of the demonstrations in this video so far have been in landscape mode, but keep in mind that if we're in portrait mode, we can also record our screen and this will record a portrait mode video instead of a landscape mode, which may be more useful for some of your apps that operate in portrait mode. Finally, I want to share some power tips that I've learned using the screen recorder. Now, number one is that sometimes when you're recording the screen and you switch apps, the audio will cut out. So my advice is that if you are recording multiple apps, stop your screen recorder in between and then restart it with your new app. And that way you will not lose that audio connection in your screen recording. Related to that is to record in chunks. So record in two or three minute chunks if you can, because sometimes if you're recording for five, 10, 10, 20 minutes and you run out of space or some other error happens in iOS, then your recording will stop and you'll lose everything that you've done. So record in small chunks and you're going to save yourself some frustration. Make sure that you have plenty of space available on your iPad or your iPhone. So if you come into general and you go to iPad or iPhone storage, you wanna make sure you've got at least two to three gigabytes, preferably more, to be able to record your videos here on your iPad or your iPhone. If you're running out of space, then the recording could fail and you could lose all of that screen recording. Another tip that I've found useful is to close any other apps that you don't need to have running at the time when you're doing your screen recording. The more apps you have open, then 
the more memory and processing power your iPad or iPhone is using and the more likely it is that your screen recording may come into problems and fail. And one last thing that I'll recommend is to come into your control center here and turn on airplane mode and maybe even the do not disturb mode. That way that no notifications are gonna come through, your Wi-Fi and your wireless signal are turned off and all of your background apps and other things are not gonna be refreshing. So you're gonna be using less processing power here on your iPad or your iPhone and you're not gonna get those notifications popping up that are gonna ruin your screen recording. And that is going to do it for my complete guide to screen recording here in iOS 11 or iOS 12. Now, my question to you is, what tips do you have for successful screen recordings here on your iPhone or your iPad? I'd love to hear your feedback. Drop your comments down below, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you'd like to learn more about music and audio production, I've got two playlists linked right down below that you can check out some of the videos here on the channel. You can also subscribe by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner and head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.